So my daughter's having some friends over and she goes, hey, can you make those hot pretzels? Or, or even better yet, make those hot pretzel bites with that cheese sauce. You can also use this recipe to make the bread, but I'll get to that later. Start with a half cup of warm water, add a little sugar and one spoonful active dry yeast. Stir that around. Eventually that's going to become foamy like this in about five minutes. Then get a half cup of warm milk, add two spoonfuls of sugar and one of salt, and then stir that around. In a bowl, add three and a quarter cup of flour, and then add your liquid. Stir that with a fork to combine. Then you have to knead it for seven minutes. You can either do that on the countertop the old-fashioned way, or I've started to get lazy. and I just put it in the KitchenAid with the dough hook and put everything in and just turn that on for seven minutes. Sometimes I have to add a spoonful or two of water if it's a little dry, um, but only add a little bit at a time. What you want it to do is be uh, wet, but not sticky. When it's done, it'll be nice and stretchy like this. Awesome dough. You're going to form that into a ball, add a little olive oil, and put that in a bowl. Cover that with plastic wrap, poke some holes in it, put it aside for about an hour until it doubles in size like this. Then the key part is you have to knead it again for one more minute. Do that with your hand. Take the dough, cut it into fourths. If you're making pretzels, cut that into fourths again. But if you're making pretzel bites, you just need four long logs. So roll that out with, with your hands, slowly stretching it out bit by bit till you get a nice, long, thin piece. Then you're going to make a pretzel, kind of like that, more like this. Uh, twirl it around once, then press it down, and you've got wonderful pretzel. You can kind of stretch it out a little bit, make it a little bit bigger if you want. Here's pretzel bites. Just take that same piece and cut it. It's a great party activity. Everyone made their own pretzel. Get eight cups of water and a quarter cup of baking soda. Bring that to a boil and then add two or three pretzels at a time. Let them cook for 30 seconds. Then you're going to get a slotted spoon and remove them. Make sure to tap out any excess water and put them on parchment paper on the cookie sheet. This gives them that great pretzel texture. Then you're gonna brush them with a little egg wash, a little beaten egg, do the bites as well, and sprinkle them with either cinnamon sugar or with some coarse salt, which we do here. Then you're gonna bake them at 425 for about seven minutes. While that's baking, you can make your cheese sauce. Start with an inch of butter and a spoonful of flour, melt that together and stir it. Then add two third cups of milk, stir that together until it just starts to thicken, and then add a cup of your favorite grated cheese. We use cheddar, but you can use Swiss or whatever you'd like. Then pull out your pretzels when they're done in about seven to 10 minutes. They'll get nice and brown like this. You can find over who's is who's, and then serve it with a cheese sauce, and it is yummy. It's a great little party thing to do. People can make their own. You can also do the pretzel bites like this. If you want to do some cinnamon sugar, you can drizzle over some icing as well. Otherwise, all the kids will have a good time and they'll enjoy them, especially the pretzel bites part. So this is how you make one of the greatest soft pretzels that I've ever had. You can also make pretzel bread if you want. Just form it into a loaf, use the same recipe, but make sure you have a pan big enough to do the boiling in. You have to get a big enough pan. I had to use a big, large frying pan. Anyways, the pretzel bread comes out really, really good. Um, so there you have it. Cook well. It is worth it.